what's up? Welcome everybody to another episode of the Venom Vlog. And today we are going to be playing Marvel's Midnight Suns, the new DLC that came out called Redemption, which is picking up where we left off with Venom. If you've watched my previous Venom Vlog episode, you know that we fought Venom. He was a major boss in this game. We fought him three or four times. The gameplay footage should be going up over on my gaming channel, but a condensed version with my thoughts and my review of all the Venom stuff and Spider-Man stuff has gone up on my main channel, so check that out. If you haven't seen it, I'll put a link down below. But for now, we're going to dive into and start the DLC, not sure where now that Venom has been defeated, we're going to bring him back. But I'm happy to be wrong. And, uh, oh, there's a vase. Blaze would come around hey. eventually. Okay. So let's check and see if we can go to New York. And there's the Venom mission right there. The Devil's Do. So let's not waste any time. This is what I wanted. Let's get it on. The Hunter and Spider-Man investigate rumors of a slime monster in the sewers beneath New York City. Okay. Just because there is talk of a slime monster lurking beneath Manhattan does not mean... Oh, it does. Look, so Peter wants to save Eddie. And Venom. Eddie. They're not what you'd call unsore losers. And that's what I like about And we did, you know, kind of bury them of under an old bell tower. See, look at that. He's in the same pose as Deadpool. Since. It's everyone has like Long four gone by poses. the time Shield showed up. And then they, they just the walk into it and it's, yeah, it gets a little in this boring case, to look at. Underground. Venom on the loose, licking his wounds. And especially when there's so much talking, now, it's like a uh, can they just problem. be a little bit so, more active. How about we go solve it? But Peter, he didn't he didn't want to hurt Venom. He dropped a church bell on him. And, uh, and he cues. feels bad that they kind of left Venom there, possibly for dead. So this is giving Peter some hope, he, it seems. He's like, hey, there's maybe that is Venom. Maybe that the slimy creature in the sewers is Venom. Um, so we're going to dive into battle as the hunter and as Spider-Man. I was hoping to bring Deadpool, but it looks like it's limiting us to two because they're probably going to put Venom on our side in the middle of the match. So I love that Spidey costume. It actually looks really cool. Are you worried that Venom will hold a grudge? I wouldn't say worried. I've come to expect it. You still think this is a so, good idea? Yeah, all behind us is the Abbey yeah. grounds. Eddie tries to be a savior, but and sometimes he needs to be saved from And we're going to run up here and go through Besides, the portal. What's the worst that could happen? He could eat uh, one that of magic us. has opened for us. I am not 100% clear on how Robbie's link with Johnny Blaze works. Yeah, not important. We're not going on that mission right now. <laughs> Johnny Blaze is still out there, though, and we gotta track him down. He's got a page of the dark hole that we need. And that is Limbo, where we just ran through. And that's how we get to our destination, is magic opening portals. So here we go, into the sewers. All the slime in the world. So, where's our slime monster? So yeah, Venom was possessed by Vampire. Lilith. She took control of him and his symbiote and uh, made him do a lot of terrible vampires. things. Maybe it's the downtown and express? Spidey thinks that once Sounds Eddie like realizes that, he's gonna feel bad and want to make things right. Because he's like, look, Sounds Eddie is like... just misunderstood. So this version of Peter is very empathetic towards towards Eddie's life. And I kinda like that. I, I kinda like Peter taking a little bit of responsibility for Eddie. You hear those weird. Whoa, whoa! Does Venom eat them? Oh, he's still demonized. Your slime monster. Whoa. Okay. Breakfast for dinner, I guess. For the side of Vamp, over easy. Not so easy for the Vamp. Oh, gross, Eddie! It's hard to know who to root for in these parasite versus parasite situations. Parasite. <laughs> oh, he said it. Oh, that's awesome. Ironically possessed symbiote with a vampire's bloodlust. That's so awesome. Not he good. said it. That's so cool. Come on, Eddie, don't do this. They are definitely All doing right. this. Parasite. Cool. Defeat blood venom to complete complete the mission. Venom's consumption of vampires has put him into a permanent frenzy. Tip, Blood Venom symbiote binds can be broken by attacking them with hero abilities. Tip, Blood Venom won't wait until the enemy turn to launch his attacks. Move quickly. I should have known that All right. thing would crawl back to the sewers once Lilith had no use So for now it. the battle begins. They give us our cards. We have no use for Lilith. We don't need her. And 
looks like we Kill got some kind of special abilities. So a lot of our cards have dropped have to zero really cost. Been those vampires, Eddie? Like this one. And this one. So let's damage each enemy and restore 152 health. We don't need that right now. Let's use this because we rarely get any of these. This is cool. It's where the two of your heroes team up. So seeing Spider-Man... So that was a lot of damage, 256. I don't think they're coming back so as you can see, he's down to a little less than half. Um, so where's Spider-Man at? Oh, you know what? These, we gotta destroy too. Or else they spit out vampires. So let's do this. Chain attack. Like it's up to me. Oh, nope. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to hit more than no one personal, thing. <laughs> oh, well. Here. That's fine. Oh, crap. Oh, so that's bind. That's when a character gets tied up. So now I have to waste the turn to free him, essentially. Um, so, yeah. We'll just get out of the way of Venom. Boom. So the cool thing is that didn't take up any anything major from me. What is this? Target an enemy. They attack their nearest ally twice. That could be good for later. This is usually a good one if I can get it to work on another enemy. Um, kind of want to attack him, but he's got his spikes out, so I don't think that's going to... So this thing is going to produce a vampire at some point. Or three. Dang it. <laughs> okay. Well, that was nothing. Here we right, let's just grab that. Destroy the incubator. That more can't come out. Because Eddie's going to feed on these things, and apparently they're going to give him power. Um... Him. So one of those. Good. You stay down. I think I've used all my. Yep, everything that I can use, I've used. And whatever Venom's gonna do, we are out of range of it, but he's not. So Venom's gonna kill that guy on his next turn. And I don't have any more moves, so I can't bum rush him into that electric. So if you see in the bottom right hand, it tells you how many cards you can play. You usually get three cards per turn. Two with redraws, one discard, uh, two, one or two moves, depending, and two items, which you always have until you use them. So we're done. So we're going to end the turn. You son of a vampire. Oh, dang, is he... Okay, good. I was like, please go back into your spot. Oh, no, reinforcements. Okay, so Venom is still... This is low even for yeah, you, great. Eddie. Moping in the sewers, scarfing down the undead. The next two You're environment attacks cost zero. That's we good. Are better, better than Lilith, better than you. Um, I meant more on a personal or even spiritual level, you know? Blood will make oh. us stronger than she ever could. All right, he killed two vampires. Excellent. I think that's the only incubator that was in here, so that's good. That's a good thing. So this is dark magic that I'm using. Um, and uh, that's why I wanted to use it. Because <laughs> he'll go and killed his food, essentially. So, the I, I'm assuming when he eats, that'll recharge his life, so I don't want that to happen. Um, Blade Storm. It is time. There we go. I'm not coming to electricity. Oh. 
Now that's a big move. That's Ace waking up from a nap. He takes like little quick hype, like like uh, micro naps, and then he'll wake up and just shake like that. All right. Um, I can't use any cards, but I do have three moves. So Spider Man. Here we gonna... go again. Boom! I thought he was going to jump off that rock and body slam him, but that's fine. That worked too. So that downed him, but that doesn't beat him. Um, so if if only I had... If I could use that, I could bind him, but um, that's okay. We're going to end the turn since there's no enemies on the board. So we may have to down him maybe two times, sometimes three times, depending. Um, I never thought I'd miss being chased across the city, but this is really getting gross. Somehow the smell is even worse down here. Oh yeah, that's right. He's not eating roses. Boom. <laughs> nice. Sweet. That armor must be stronger than it looks. Otherwise you're in trouble. There, that's what I wanted him to do to Venom, but that's okay. Let's get rid of the vampires. I don't want Eddie getting stronger. No mercy for the servants of Lilith. I was trying to throw him into Spider-Man. Sometimes that gives Maybe you, you do not extra damage the on them, but you are in, yeah. Oh. Oh, he's gonna bind us! Dang it! Like a fish on a hook. Oh dang! Oh! Oh, and he broke the bind. Oh, good job. Or did he? No, he didn't. No, I. Yeah, he did. Okay, good. Usually, if if we get hit while we're bound, we'll break free. We're using a lot of cool abilities from the hunter in this one. Screw it, we're gonna just push him, just to get a little extra damage in there. What are you doing, Ace? What are you doing, buddy? All right, so we got bleed on, which means every round, uh, we're gonna take damage automatically because we're we've been damaged or injured bad enough. Remember the old days, Eddie. We had our differences, but were they really as bad as this? Good or bad. I just want to get a lot of Spider-Man versus Venom animation as much as I can. Just seeing those two fighters on this game is really cool. Centuries ago. Uh oh. Well, and he's gonna attack. Oh no. Oh. Wait, what's happening? Oh no. Now we're now Spidey's bleeding. Wait. What's happening? Okay. I think we're starting to lose now. We turned all of our attention to Venom and I think that's not a good thing. Um in the light. So the hunter has dark abilities and light abilities. Obviously, you, you can imagine what they do. Um, so this light one is. Uh, that light one, is, you know, gives you stuff like healing and like, you were too tornado spins fight. and all that stuff. Oh, we did it! Okay, so we just had to down him twice. And that's it. Here we go. Oh, look! Are they... Are they removing... Oh, yeah, Even use your light magic. From every pore. Don't lose it, pal. So he's... Is Either he gonna absorb it? Oh, that's cool. He is lost. So yeah, Peter, like One I said, he wants to save... Remains. He wants to save Eddie, and it looks like he's convinced the hunter to do that. Ah, yes. 
The elimination of one tormented oh. soul for the good of what? many. What? this down. Whoa. Oh, but humans do love a moral dilemma. Oh, cool. The umami of an otherwise flavorless existence. The fifth. <laughs> He Isn't looks that, awesome. He looks like he's from like a uh, an nice 80s bullet. metal band cover. Which he should. He should look like that. There's nowhere I would rather be, but I've come on business. So let's make a deal. Is this one of those oh. fiddle at the crossroads scenarios or no deal? My terms are as follows. I spare venom. I cure the symbiote of Lilith's demonic touch. I end oh. the blood fever he's given himself, gorging on curdled vampire bile. And what do you get? I wretched little thinking of it. I said, no deal. All this, and I ask but one inconsequential thing in return. Stop the vampire uprising. The oh. undead are bad for business. So you cure Eddie and we keep doing what we've been doing? Yes. Yeah, how's that a Wipe deal? them out. Remove every trace of their foul scourge from the earth. Then I will cure this pathetic creature forever. For the last time. Why no. does that sound so good? Hold up. Give me the fine print. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nothing much. The usual. If you should fail, uh. you'll discover something far more threatening than the undead, namely all truly, etc., etc., immortal soul, yada, yada. This is a bad idea. This or he dies? We don't have much of a choice. I'm in. Oh, I like this. Good. I mean, Spider-Man is there. notorious for making I'm deals there. with Mephisto. <laughs> you may feel a little steep. Uh, but... Yeah, because I'm guessing if we stop the, the undead va vampires, that means Mephisto will lead an army to Earth at some point. Bad food. So he's just saying like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come next if you don't. Go get it. You know, so like, I guess the we vampires are, could actually you do have a defeat Mephisto. To wage. Oh, and Peter, I'll see you around. How did he know my? Huh. Oh damn. <laughs> That's not good. Oh jeez. All right, part two. We get Venom on the team now. All the surprises we've had so far, that was one of the weirdest. So, uh, Sweet. It's All right. a oh. truce then, right, Eddie? We gotta start using these like immediately. Uh, draw one attack or heroic Nick, card. But ourselves. And then, oh, this is a chain we too, okay. So. For now. Hey, that's progress. Do this. He didn't threaten to eat you. That is progress. He looks fantastic. I like it. Oh, it's not even a chain. You just straight up hit one at a time. Oh, that's not as exciting. Um, that's all right, then. Draw one at, uh, attack or heroic card. The next card played does not consume Ravenous. Okay. You have our thanks. Tasty brains. Ooh, lifesteal. Oh, it'll kill any of these things, huh? Almost. How many hit points does that one have? Let's do it. Let's kill this thing. I don't want more vampires coming out. Okay, that was awesome. Why won't it hit into that other thing? It'll hit them both. There we go. Explosion. So that hit the, the egg sack over there. Um, we don't have any more moves, though. Darn it. Okay. So, let me turn. I typically don't, typically don't like leaving as many enemies on the field so they can come through this. Um, but I just wanted to see all of Venom's traits. I, I figured Spidey would die. I knew he was already low on health. But I was like, ah, I was willing to risk it. So we do get a revive. Um, but I'm gonna kill a couple guys. I forgot what you were like before Lilith got in your head. I've kind of missed it. It's your fault. 
fault Lilith got in our head to begin with. Is that really what you think? I never wanted that. I was trying to keep you from eating my neighbors. Oh, I moved out of the way. Never mind. Oh. Yeah. How's that feel, Shakes? You had your chance to escape. Your mother nice. abandoned you. All right, all right, here we go. Oh, no, that thing's gonna shoot up three of them. Dang it. Okay, we gotta destroy that thing. Tonto, tonto. It, it did take 99 damage, but... Um... Cards do I have? Give attack cards in your hand critical for the rest of the mission, free. Select a hero to taunt all enemies. Uh, we don't need that yet. This shall be of great help. I can't heal him. Dang it. All right, next time I get a move, like a spare move like that, we'll uh, we'll have Venom do it. I could have I could have done a redraw there or a discard and got a new card, but I figured it's not worth it. I mean, there's not that many enemies on the field, and both Venom and I are full health, so I'm not too concerned. And this incubator sack next to us is, is going to be gone. So let's revive Spidey. Even facing this. And then let's do a web toss. Creature, what were you going to say? What? New ally of not ours? Hit that. He's just what out of range. I hate that so much. Ah. <sighs> Let's get this guy. Two birds. Nice job, Venom. I like this map. This looks cool. Look at the symbiote stuff in the air and all around uh, the tunnel. Not going down that tunnel. It's all on this side, which I like. Got attention to detail. So this ability I used has a knockback where it can push someone in the distance, but Feel it doesn't fault. work on one of the sacks because see this the sack is uh <laughs> is unmovable. All right, can't can't do anything like that to him. So let's see what cards. Yeah, special delivery from Spider-Man into Venom. Perfect. <laughs> Oh, into the rock next to Venom. Oh well. Oh, I think that's Sweet. the last of them. Sweet, done and done. And not a moment. If these too missions are a little bit easier now that we're towards the end of the game, because I've leveled up the Hunter a lot and Spider-Man as well. Oh, here we go. Look at that. Sick. Oh, is he throwing up vampires? That'd be awesome. Is that? Oh, it's Eddie. Eddie? Oh, wow, that's awesome. Well, this is awkward. You are the man in the monster? Something like that. <laughs> so, you okay, Eddie? Oh, his left shoulder hurts. How funny. <laughs> it's getting a little bit. No, I, I come in peace. That's awesome. For That's once. awesome. Really? <laughs> they gave him a little bit of a hey, by goofy the way, you're sense of humor. Out there. Respect. Uh, thank you. 
Not my first vampire war. Eddie, are you this is yourself great. again? Well, you mean, are we ourselves? Yeah, Lilith. She made us a monster. We did awful things. You know that's not who we are, right? Of course. So I'm sitting here. Well, why does the hunter's cape keep fluttering? <laughs> it's getting annoying. <clears throat> I saw what you did for me. See, I like this cutscene. Look, everyone's How moving around. They're interacting. Are, uh, this is. I you know, wish they could do this at the Abbey. Personal stuff. Okay. No, not forever. Just, just until this whole messed up vampire situation is figured out. Till all the innocent people are safe. I mean, that would make sense, wouldn't it? Yeah. I don't know. Works for me. Huh. Shake on it. Oh, huh. wait a sec. Put her there, partner. I'm no there. No way, partner. Welcome to the Midnight Suns, dude. Eddie Brock, <laughs> Midnight Sun. How awesome! Sweet. Oh, that's so cool. Well, let's go talk to Eddie real quick and we'll wrap up this episode. Um, that is, that's so awesome. And they gave him a little bit of a personality, which I like. They made him kind of goofy. You guys really put the home in home base. This is an impressive setup. I hope the accommodations are better than what my mother provided. Uh, your hmm. mother gave me a lot of stuff, but most of it was grief. Uh, Thanks again. So this is neat. This me. is an Eddie that got my past wasn't possessed by enough. a demon Your with symbiote a fresh and pile of regrets. feels really awful about it. And Spider-Man, when he asked for a second chance, Spider-Man gave it to him. Eddie, um, you are here because a mutual awesome. friend believes in you. Uh, you mean he believes I'm trouble. And he's not entirely wrong. I do not want you at each other's throats. Look, Parker and I have... A complicated history, but it's water under the bridge. Oh, well, I guess we're still building that bridge. <laughs> but we have bigger fish to fry. From the <laughs> bridge. <laughs> Thanks, Eddie. But enough about us. Can you trust me after everything that happened? I mean, I kept trying to eat you. That's true, you did. You were a different person. I cannot blame you for my mother's control. Oh, that's a relief. Thought it might be weird between us. Wanna hug it out? Sorry, I just made it awkward, didn't I? <laughs> what is he Peter is? Parker He's awkward was. as hell. <laughs> so, now that we've cleared the air, I'm a little worried about the deal we made with the devil. That's the that's first true. time I've meant it literally. <laughs> I agree with you, but Peter made his decision. Our plan was to stop the new breed vampires. Now we can do so with your help. Man, Peter just cannot escape Maybe. in any reality. I can't uh, shake the up a deal with the devil can we he? know for the devil we... Well, for another devil we know. Why are there so many devils? <laughs> the world ends, we shall never know. I'm glad you sound But confident. I like this, as Eddie as a religious Symbiote man, it's, it's an interesting uh, thing to deal with. No offense, but... I hear there's a gym here, and I'm itching to check it out. I'm going to do that. Unless that's you cool. need something else. Yeah, you got to go work out, dude. That's, that's totally Eddie Brock. Yeah, I'd no, like but I do have a few questions. Better. I would like to get to know you a little okay, bit better, Eddie. Me. Let's do this. I would like to know more about you. Really? Like what? Let's get a little bit more of his history. What was your life like before you became Venom? I was a reporter, and I was pretty good at it. Well, I was okay. Somewhere between okay and pretty good. Had a few wins. Then one major gaffe blew up my whole career. What happened? <laughs> uh, it's a long story. And not my favorite one to tell. Maybe I'll share the details someday. All you need to know is that it nearly ended my career. I still find the occasional reporting gig, but 
Well, let's just say it's for new sites with stories about how the government buries alien bodies in the desert. Do they? Hmm. Oh, yeah. Just not the kind of aliens these sites talk about. Yeah, we kind of got a little bit of his backstory with, with Peter. He, Peter said he he exposed a serial killer that Eddie was apparently interviewing, so it seems similar to the comic what books. What drives you to fight for justice? Um, Plenty but of I was people hoping we would get you, Eddie's side I'm no of it. hero. Some of them might be living in the Abbey. But I really do care about doing what's right. I guess you could say I had a tough childhood. Always wished I'd had a strong friend who could save me from the monsters in my life. So I became hmm. a monster. To save those too small to fight for themselves. Yeah, they might be afraid of me, but... I'll keep them safe. Yeah, he's, he's missing a few screws, but... I mean, that's Eddie Brock, at least. Ruthless it's it's pretty hero. good. I like this so far. Is that a question? Yeah, he's Half an the Midnight Suns believe the greater good can sometimes outweigh a single life, but none of them, well, eat their enemies? <laughs> you could put it that way. <laughs> eh, my brand of justice is an acquired taste. <laughs> I would like to know nice. more about your symbiote. Naturally. Go for it. How did you and the symbiote connect with one another? I got bitten oh, here we go. by a radioactive pool of motor oil. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, no, that would have been less traumatic. Truth is, uh, Spider-Man yeah. brought the symbiote back from space. Space? <laughs> yeah, dude. Be surprised space. what that kid gets up to. Final frontier. Anyway, Parker found the suit ill-fitting. His loss was my gain. Maybe I'll tell you the story someday. That's why I'm asking you now, dude. What are your capabilities on the battlefield? I want to hear this story. But without your mom's demonic protein powder? That would have been awesome if he was like, I guess that would be more of a Deadpool answer. He's like, read Amazing Spider-Man and she's 300. We also abilities. <laughs> Find out. Tendrils are handy when we need to grab something or web someone to a wall. Uh, oh, and we can also camouflage ourselves if needed. Don't tell nice. Parker. Oh, I hope he unlocked that card. down when he went back to those red and blue Because, I mean, that ability is already in the game where people can... Be, um, I noticed that you sometimes refer to yourself light. as we. Why is that? Because I'm a king in black. What does that That's mean? That's funny. It doesn't matter. Truth is, Venom isn't a singular personality. It's a combination of myself and the symbiote. Those weren't capital, that's King in Black, so I'm we... guessing that's not a reference. It must be strange. I, to obviously, it's a nod to the comics, the but I'm, I'm assuming head. in this continuity, yeah, he well, has not been. If you thought it was hard fighting He has not defeated Null. Try yet doing it in when this your continuity, I'm assuming. In your ear. Eddie, can I talk to Venom now? Oh, yes, oh, please. God, that's not how it works. I'm not deranged. I just share a body with an alien symbiote. And okay, yeah, that does sound deranged. <laughs> but it also happens to be true. You want to talk to Venom? You always are, Hunter. Okay. Actually, I have to All run. All right. I'm around if you need me. Cool. Let's go say something hey, to Spider-Man real quick. Oh, boy. Hello, Charlie. I need to freak out. Peter, are you all right? Here we go. Why? Because one of my ex nemeses now lives in the same building? Do I not look okay? I'm thinking calming thoughts. <laughs> what thoughts keep you calm? Eating stacks yeah. of my aunt's wheat cakes. Watching baseball with my Uncle Ben. Oh, and picturing myself doing yoga. That's super calming. Picturing yourself doing yoga. Imagining yoga relaxes <laughs> not actually doing it but doing picturing himself doing it is exhausting but thinking about it is like a workout for the mind. that's amazing see i'm already looser than that analogy that's so, so good you completely forgot that you and venom are now living in the same building and now i'm anxious if it is an <laughs> issue we can find him alternative lodging perhaps in limbo no no I think this could be a good bonding experience for Eddie and me. I like this. Sure, I like I this side exactly of Peter where he's like, no, let's... Because I'll be honest, you know in the comic I mean. books, Eddie terrorized him so much in the beginning that anyway, Peter didn't really give him a chance. He would, he would fake it. Like, oh, Back okay, I'll give you a chance. And then turn on him, you know? Um, is that 
at so the last second, like he did about? with the the first time they met Carnage, and he he turned on him and hit him with the sound and stuff. So, you know, Peter, there have been times where Peter has not actually extended a true, honest hand to Eddie, and to see him do it in this game is 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 pretty neat. Is this something I need to worry about? Uh, when you sign a contract he knows everything with Mephisto, about you. it is said he learns all your secrets. So I should have read the fine print. It was like well, you told him to small say the fine print, and he well, he alluded that not stopping that the, the, devil is a the vampires liner. would probably lead to other worse things. NFTs. Like if you if you don't stop the vampires, but there's gotta be more to that. So I don't know. I guess we'll find out. So yeah, there we go. So now we're officially over with this episode because on the map it doesn't light up any other characters we need to talk to. So this will be the end of. Uh, this episode of Venom Vlog. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, let me know what you thought of this episode and, and this bad. version of Eddie and what you think so far down not in the comments. And we'll keep talking as always down there. Thanks so much. See you in the future. Peace.